Tonight, we are meeting Memphis teenagers who spent part of their Saturday off the court and serving others. The Whitehaven High School boys basketball team spent hours today packing lunches for the homeless. This comes during a week of freezing temperatures here in the Mid-South, as Chase just mentioned. Local 24 News reporter Annette Pegler explains why the coach wants to make this a recurring service project for the team. It's new at 9. Well, hi there, Mary Jo. This is such a great story. Whitehaven boys basketball team head coach Faraji Phillips says he's always trying to instill to his basketball team what it means to be a servant to others, and today they put it into action. The Whitehaven basketball team works hard every Saturday. I'm trying to start off on the right foot and build on something pretty special for this upcoming season. But this Saturday is a little different. We have fruits and chips and water, and we're going to make sandwiches for, uh, and little bags with messages. Right after practice, the boys prepared nearly 100 meals to be distributed to the homeless in Memphis. Anytime you have the opportunity to do some give back to the people that this, that this need it, you should. Phillips has coached more than half of the team since they were in seventh grade. And now that they're high schoolers, he says it's necessary to teach them life lessons off the court. And we're trying to, trying to do this you know, more often than not. And my challenge is for you know, our school system, our association here, SCIAA, SCS, is to make this a mandate. Get more programs and more schools to come out and do what we're trying to do today. The team took the mills to the Union Mission of Memphis and gave whatever mills were left to the homeless at Morris Park. Many players say the deed made them feel good. Their coach says the mission is to show the team how to improve their community. Well, it's a blessing because you know everybody is uh, everybody's blessed to be provided with food every day, and so it's for it's our job to help provide them with it. The team spent nearly three hours passing out those meals to the homeless. Phillips hopes to do more of these service projects in the future. Reporting from the medical district, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News.